What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and if you have a creative collective of any kind, there's five ways to help the whole team get on. And today specifically, we're going over how to get a team of music artists on. Number one, get one person on. And what works best for this strategy is working to get the most commercially viable artists out of the group, meaning they have the widest stretch of a possible potential audience because some people are very like niche type artists have they have a specific type of following. Get that one person up and then once they're on, let everybody else get attention by, through that person. Just like, ooh, what's that nigga name? ASAP, ASAP. Just like ASAP Ferg hopping on ASAP Rocky songs and then all of a sudden that putting ASAP Ferg on and then next person, next person, next person. Not gonna go any deeper than that because I did a whole video on that. If you wanna know more about that strategy in that group, you can check out that video I did. Number two, the collective push. Basically think of a huge collective, but one brand. A perfect example is a group like Wu-Tang, right? There's so many people in Wu-Tang. People oftentimes joke they don't know all the people. I personally can't just name all the people off the top of the head, even though I might recognize his name. The way the strategy works is basically having multiple people, yes, and everybody's moving under the same umbrella of, let's say, Wu-Tang, and that means that allows them to have maybe multiple songs, maybe every person not, is on every song. However, you're always using the same name, and people eventually just get attached to Wu-Tang, the brand, or whatever the brand of your collective is, as opposed to one particular artist. And then, obviously, once they get the brand attention, people fail to figure out who they like best from there. Number three, make different versions of one collective. One of the best examples of this, believe it or not, is New Edition. New Edition not only has the original New Edition with Bobby Brown and all that stuff, Bobby Brown went out for a solo career, Ralph Tresvan went out for a solo career, they had Belle Biz DeVoe, and many other formations of one particular group, but it allowed them to brand themselves in many ways, but people were just attached to the actual people in the group and allow everybody to have a personal brand of their own as well. Only thing about that, I still say focus on getting that first collective brand out first. At the beginning, it's just a lot of energy. So I don't particularly recommend that for most people at first, even though some people have done something like that before and made it work for them in the beginning. Number four, every man for himself. If everybody's making sure they hone their brand and they get their stuff together and then equally all push out into the world, try to get attention for themselves, then you're essentially playing a numbers game. What this is basically saying is, all right, we have, let's say five people in a group and we're gonna roll the dice and hopefully we hit. We have five people giving it a try. Hopefully somebody gets on and whoever gets on then will fall behind that person. The thing about this one is it requires a lot of trust between whoever the group mates are because you wanna trust that person to actually come back and help the rest of the group out after them themselves have gotten themselves into a situation. Because what oftentimes happens is once people get themselves into a better situation, a lot of the advisors tell them, hey, you don't need those other people. So you gotta have somebody that's trustworthy. And number five, go old school band style. What does that mean? What that means is if you think about the traditional makeup of a band, they have a collective, right? Maybe a drummer, guitarist, all of those different pieces, or if you look at a group like The Temptations, they have five singers. Whichever band you're talking about, traditionally a band's makeup has a front man. So it's similar to number one, where you're pushing one person first, but the band makeup is we're pushing all of us, so we're a unit collective. However, the nuance is we have one person that gets looked at of some sort of Beyonce at the group. And if you do this, I recommend kind of like number one, you find the person that's most marketable com commercially. It doesn't say anything about anyone else of the group, but when it comes to branding, you want to put the person, if you have that ability and someone has that potential and reach, you want to put the person out there that most people are going to gravitate to, whatever energy they have, that might take evolving over time because you need to get feedback for the crowd and sometimes it happens naturally because of personality, but it is a viable option. And by the way, you can thank Mansa Goffin for this video. He actually asked me to do more group strategy videos because he's working with a group. In the same way, if anybody has any questions, ask them in the comments. And if you would like to see a video about anything in particular, go ahead and suggest it and hopefully I can get to it. I might not be able to get to it tomorrow or next week, but eventually, at least a month from now, I'm pretty sure I can. I have like three or four videos that I have done off of recommendations. Actually, two series I did off of recommendations. Other than that, you know what to do. Subscribe. There it is up in that corner somewhere. Click it, click it.